Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Um, today we're going to cover calculating simple interest. Um, and this is actually going to be the same lesson or the same video for lesson one and lesson two. Um, so if you do both of the lessons back to back, that would be the smartest thing to do because then you only have to watch the video once. So calculating simple interest. Um, simple interest is the interest earned only on the principal or the original amount deposited into an account. It's earned over a period of time and it's written as a percent. So when we are calculating simple interest, we have a formula. It's I equals PRT, okay? The interest, I is interest, P is principal. Principal just means how much money you put into an account. So if I start an account and I put $200 into it, that's my principal. And then the rate for the interest is usually a percentage and we have to change it to a decimal. And then time, we always want that to be in years. So this little notes page is gonna be super handy. Um, you might wanna like screenshot it and save it on your desktop or even print it out if you have a printer or just jot down these four little things and the formula. I've got the formula written on the slides that you need it, but when you go to lesson two, the assignment is just a quizzes. Um, it's a 10 question little assignment. And you might want the formula because I don't know, I can't remember if those have a have the formula listed on there. So take a minute, pause, write this down, just this part down here at the bottom. Okay, so just as kind of a refresher, um, we have to convert our percentages into decimals in order to find the, to use that as the rate. So because we can't multiply a percentage. So you have to have it written as a decimal. So just as a refresher, 5% means 5 out of 100, which would be written 0 0.05, 5 hundredths. You move that decimal point one, two places to the left. So same thing here, 2.5%, I would go one, two. So I would get 0 0.025 would be my pers or my decimal. 6%, remember the imaginary decimal is behind the six because that's a whole number. So we go one, two, that's six hundredths, which is 0 0.06. And this is all gonna be filled in on your notes page when you go back to your slides. 7.8%, one, two places, so 0 0.078. So when I'm solving interest problems, they'll give you a percentage. You have to turn it into a decimal. And then they'll also give you a time, and sometimes they write it in months. But for our formula, we need it to be in years. So just a refresher, if I know the months, I can divide by 12. I know you guys know that stuff, but um, me and Miss Mormon just put this in here to kind of help you remember. Six months would be half of a year. So I would write that 0 0.5 years or year. Uh, 24 months would be two years. So you have to convert decimal or the percent into a decimal. And if they give you months, you've got to convert it to years. Okay. So let's go try a few. This is what your problems are going to look like when you go back to the assignment. So they give you the, the principal. They give you the time. They give you the rate. You have to find the interest. That means how much money is my bank account going to add? Because interest, it, it means that it's getting added on to my deposit. So if I put in $200 and then it's gonna grow with interest, that's a good thing, it's a positive thing. This is simple interest. So our formula is right here. Interest equals principal times the rate times time. Okay, so P, R, T. They're out of order here, but that's okay. So I'm going to do $35 times, I need the time to be in years. So change that to two years. Oops. And I need the rate to be in percentages. I mean, it is a percent. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. It is a percent. I need it to be in decimal format in order to multiply it. So 5% is 0 0.05.
all you have to do is multiply all three of those, principal times rate times time. I'm gonna use a calculator and you should too. 35 times two times 0 0.05. So my interest, so that means over the course of two years, if I only put in $35, I'm gonna gain $3.50. Okay, that's a, the interest is a dollar amount. Then that means my total value, I would add my principal plus my interest. So 35 plus $3.50 equals $38.50. So that means after three years, I would have gone up by $3.50. Doesn't seem like a lot because we're talking about a small amount in the account. But if that account had like $500, that interest is really going to add up. Okay, so here's another example. If my principal is 50. My time is 36 months, but I need that to be in years in order to multiply it. Okay, that's the biggest trick that they do all the time is that they'll give you months. And so you'll look at that and go, oh, I just need to multiply 50 times 36 times 2.5. No, you have to turn your time into years and turn your rate into a decimal. Okay, 2.5, go one, two places to the left. So one, two, so 0 0.025. And now I can just multiply those. So 50 times three, that's 150. times 0 0.025 and I get three dollars oops I get three dollars and 75 cents and then for my total value I'm going to add that three dollars and 75 cents to my fifty dollars so I get fifty three dollars and 75 cents is my total value in my account Okay, so then go back to your assignment. You have three questions there. They give you a principal. That's the deposit that's being made. They give you how long? Seven years. Okay, all three of these did years, so you're good there. You don't have to change anything. And then the interest rate. So the formula is here. Interest equals principal, that's the initial deposit, times the rate, times time. All right? Um, if you have any questions, send me an email. After you finish assignment one, go ahead and turn it in. And then I would jump straight to assignment two um, just because it'll be fresh on your mind. Give me an email if you need me help. Bye.